All right. Hey, folks, it's Fat Starkly here. This isn't a segment per se. This is just something that I uh, was wanting to get out there because I don't know if you all know this, but Fat Starkly myself, I am a, a big proponent of Aleister Crowley's, you know, system of magic and the occult in general. You know, I was big in demonology and Satanism, things like that, while I was locked up. In any case, I've taken a softer path on that, but uh, I'm still pretty wound up in Crowley's teachings. I mean, after all, the law of the Lima states, you know, do what thou will shall be the whole of the law. And law, you know, love is law, love under will, and there is no law beyond do what thou will. Now, what that means in all actuality, if you get into the readings, is not, you know, just go around and fucking off doing exactly what you want, even though, you know, it's uh, destructive to your being as a whole. No, what that means is have the will, you know, and the drive to do exactly what you want to do in life. You know, will yourself to success. That's what it's all about. People get that all twisted around. They think, you know, they think it's a satanic thought. They think, they think that it's, they think it's basically telling you to run around like a fucking demon in human form, you know, doing exactly what you want, wreaking anarchy and sowing havoc. That's not what it means. I mean, now granted, there are passages such as this out of Liber Alva Legis, which is the book of the law, and it says, curse them, curse them, curse them. Thrice, with my hawk's head, I peck at the eyes of Jesus as he hangs upon the cross. You know, I flap my wings in the face of Muhammad and blind him. You know, it says... With my claws I tear at the flesh of the Indian and the Buddhist, Mongol, and Din. Balasti Ampeda, I spit on your crapulous creeds. Let Mary and Violet be torn upon the wheels. For her sake, let all chaste women be despised among you. Also, for beauty's sake and love. Now, what that means is, you only have this one life to live. Now, Crowley believed in a spiritual afterlife, but he also believed that this right here, is, you know, a state of spiritual awakening, that you need to start that now, that your heaven begins now. You know, it had nothing to do with what he was saying. It had nothing to do with, you know, an abject hatred for organized religion, even though that was present there, too. But he hated, ab you know, he hated organized religion for this reason. Organized religion, you know, espouses a system of control over yourself while taking that control out of your hands. He said that you should be enough of a man and or woman or single-minded human being, you know, as it were, to control yourself. Don't let your impulses destroy you. You know, that's what that's all about. And, you know, I'm not a Wiccan per se. I'm more of a hardline occultist, you know, with a soft bent. You know, I don't have, you know, all that sacrificing goats and shit like that. That doesn't really spark my fire. But... You know, if that's what gets you all, you know, go about, do it, whatever. You know, that's, that's not me. But I really like, I really like that sense of, that sense of, you know, your mind controls your body. Your mind is your soul. You know, I don't believe in anything higher than that. You know, Crowley himself did. And I'm not, you know, I'm not writing Crowley's nuts on, you know, everything. Because I believe what he saw as, you know, soul and spirit was actually just, you know, a heightened state of mind. You know, like how those yogi, they go out in the snow and they meditate and their body temperature never drops. You know, or the dudes lay on beds of nails, you know, without exhibiting any brain waves, showing pain. Things like that. You know, he applied, he had a crippling morphine and heroin addiction, you know, all the way up until the last ten years of his life. And then he just stopped. That's amazing. If any of you have ever had, you know, any sort of addiction... You know, like I did with pills and things like that. It's almost impossible to stop. But he did it through, you know, sheer mind control. It's amazing. I just think, you know, that it's... That it's... You know, it's inspiring. You know, in its own... You know, it's a, in its own dark manner. But what I suggest for all of you who... You know, would like to check out... You know, yourself, really. But, uh, you know, explore these things through reading. You know, through the occult. Check out Aleister Crowley's book, The Law, Liber al Valigis, and uh, book four, Liber ABA. And the book of lies is actually good if you're big on uh, secret societies, you know. It covers a lot of, you know, it covers a lot of Masonic secrets. Crowley was one of the ranking master Masons in England at the time of his death, and all the way, you know, from 1900. So, you know, if you really just have a hankering for that type of knowledge, check that out. In any case, I also wanted to cover that, uh, you know, the next installment of Fat Starkly's Recycled Reviews will be on next week. So, 
make sure to check that out. And uh, also, me and Brett Montgomery, who you can find on Facebook, will be starting Beyond the Grave anime reviews as well, which will give you dates for any sort of Gen Con that's coming around, concerts that relate to our particular type of material, and, uh, you know, reviews, you know, as the name states, on animes, mangas, you know, things of that nature, especially badass action figures, and, uh, you know, book signings, things like that, you know, and showings that are going to happen at places like Alamo Draft House, you know, appearances at, you know, appearances at, uh, you know, at, uh, what do you call them, like Horror Con, and, uh, Anime Con, Gen Con, things like that, of the specific artists, so anyway, all that combined into a little ball, uh, you know, if you're interested in all this, you know, keep in mind what I've said. Also, tune in. We're going to have a channel set up, you know, where I'm going to have a link on my Facebook. He's going to have a link on his to check out Beyond the Grave Anime Reviews. And the next episode should be coming out in about a calendar week uh, of Fats Darkly's Recycled Reviews. All right, y'all, stay dark. And remember what Frederick Nietzsche says, that which does not kill you will only make you stronger. And keep this in mind when you go delving into the abyss. You know, the occult. When you stare into the abyss, where the abyss also stares back into you. Also, Frederick Nietzsche. Okay, y'all. Y'all have a nice night. Stay dark.